We do have some breaking news, though. It is a busy Friday on October 28th. Thank you for joining us. Before we check on what's trending, we are following some news that we first told you about a few minutes ago from Northwest uh, D.C. That's where a teen was shot on board a metro train. It happened at the Georgia Avenue Petworth Metro Station. Melanie Almick joins us uh, live. She just arrived on scene. She's got the latest there. Mel, what do we know so far? Good morning. Uh, what we can tell is I've been reaching out to uh, Metro spokespeople asking for any updates. So best we can say at this point is the suspect still at large. And that is the information that we had when this news first came across. And I was just hoping perhaps they had a little more information on that, but none so far. This was reported at 840 this morning. A huge police presence here on Georgia Avenue. You can take a look at the, uh, the entrance to the station. You can see the gates are locked and closed. Uh, the crime scene tape surrounding the entire area the, to the entrance of the station. We just saw crime scene investigators with a lot of equipment going down the escalator, uh, you know, supposedly one might um, deduce that they're going down there to begin uh, taking some photographs of the scene. We do know that the juvenile male victim, again, had a gunshot wound to the leg and was transported to the hospital. We don't have an update on that young man's condition at this point. And Metro Transit Police say it appears that this began with an altercation between a group of juveniles aboard the train, again, right before the shooting. Uh, we can tell you right now that Green Line service is suspended between U Street and Fort Totten. There's a shuttle bus. Uh, bridge being set up and people are able to use that to get across those areas. But in terms of uh, more information on, on what kind of an altercation it was, we just don't have that at this point. This is all still just breaking at this hour. Now, 840 in the morning along a Green Line train, you can imagine there were probably quite a number of people on board those trains. We haven't been able to talk to anybody yet who was on board to describe that scene to us. Uh, people were just stopping by the scene here and asking us what happened. And when we told them that indeed it was a shooting aboard a metro train, uh, really, oh, people don't want to go on camera and talk about it. But privately, they say it, this is just too much. Too many things happening now with young people in violence aboard Metro, given what we saw in the last couple of weeks. And now uh, there's going to be a lot more coming on this. So we'll stay on top of this story with Metro Transit Police and Metro throughout the day. Back to you yeah, guys. Certainly some, some uh, frightening moments, I'm sure. Mel, thanks for that update.